Welcome back to Between Bells. Kara Walker is a world-renowned artist known for collections that tackle race, gender, and sexuality. The artist is debuting her latest collection here in New York City. Joining us now to discuss is Cheddar's very own art correspondent, Cheryl McGinnis. Cheryl, great to see you. Tim, so nice to see you. I hope always great to Aww, see you. Love you. the look. Both you of you too. together. Oh, you, so you too. So amazing. Well, yes. your look too, specifically, lots to do with what we're talking about today. I felt compelled after seeing Kara's show. I just, I have not thought of anything else. And this is a Byron Lars styled by the fabulous Zinda Williams. And I really felt like this is like Spanish moss hanging in the south. Looks like coral too. It, it does, right? Isn't it fantastic? Well, well let's talk about uh, about Kara, Kara Walker's latest mm -hmm. exhibit. Oh, what, what, what do you think? Why do you think it's getting rave, rave reviews? Okay, when I was here in January, at the end of January, right after the election, Baker said, Cheryl, what do you think is the art that's going to happen in reaction to Trump? And I said, Baker, nothing yet. It's going to take time. The artists have to think about this. We have to settle in. We have mm -hmm. to. Kara was so upset, as we all were, as a nation and as the world was upset of the events over the summer with some, you know, white supremacists in this country speaking their mind in a way that, you know, was upsetting to us all. She put this show together as her reaction to those events, and it is everything that she wants to say about the history and race in America and gender in America. And what I love about what happens in this is she has a phenomenal gallery, Sakima Jenkins in Chelsea, and you don't even feel like you're in a gallery. You feel like you're in Kara's studio and people just stop. You don't want to leave. And people just talk to you and people say out loud, oh, is this a pyramid? And then someone mm -hmm. said, no, Kara doesn't use war pyramid yeah, motifs in her work. Yeah, Usually yeah. she's using a sphinx and they were referring to another. And and it just becomes this community of where everyone just comes together and is just really talking about art. And you know, that's my thing. I know, we're watching right? you inside yes. the exhibit. So give us some of the background here on the pieces that we're looking at. Looks like there's a lot of black and white themes. Yes. There's a lot of, well, it's monotone yes. for the most part, but then there right. are some colors, earth tone colors. Right. What's the meaning behind the pieces? A lot, Kara is very well known for her silhouettes oh, and her awesome. kind of antebellum you know, uh, black cutout silhouettes against this stark white. Mm. And in some exhibits, they actually, the way the lighting is, you become kind of the, the shadows of it. Um, and yes, these are these are drawings. And I feel like they're so quick. And see this drawing I'm pointing to here, they just showed it before, is a pig with a swastika on it. And there's some figures in that. Some are contemporary figures that we all know. Mm -hmm. Some are historic figures. And it's really about looking at this story of the history of this country in terms of race and gender and in a visual way. Well, I want you know that that makes me think of of of, of what Kara said in her in her statement. Mm -hmm. She said, "Quote: I'm tired of standing up." This was her artist statement that went along with the show. Right. What do you make of, of that? Thank you. That's what I say to you, Tim. Thank you for reading that. I'm tired of standing up right, and being here and being the representative of my race and my gender. And then she goes on and on. And all the while, we have white supremacists running around talking, uh, you know, and the, this tragedy that happened in Virginia. And so I, I feel like the, it's this juxtaposition. She doesn't necessarily want to be this, for lack of a better word, quote unquote, token black artist that's at the top. But at the same time, she is not going to shy away from that with regard to the work. She's still going to say what she's going to say. And I think it speaks to her power too, that she can, an event could happen, and it speaks to the brilliance of this gallery, that an event could happen that's so mm -hmm. recent and this artist could go into that her space mm -hmm. and come up with this show and in September it's mounted. It yep. is so visceral and it's so immediate and it's just, Magnificent. Well, we're very lucky to have you to be able to translate these works of art into things that we can think about in, in, in kind of real terms. So, Cheryl, thank, thank you, you so much for joining us on this Friday in September. Yes, That's our very you. own Cheryl McGinnis. She's our art correspondent nice over here too. at Cheddar.